If you have an alarm system and you hear it go off, and you just assume it's a cat or a dog or a squirrel setting off the alarm, then my question is, why do you even have an alarm system in the first place? If you hear your alarm go off, well, don't you think you better assume and be ready for something worse than your friendly neighborhood squirrel raiding the bird dish? That's what I would ask this couple if I could, but I think I'd already know the answer because they learn the hard way. They learn the hard way how black people are targeting old white people for robbery, rape, and murder, as we're about to see in these three examples. An Alto couple is recovering after they were allegedly attacked in their own yard Saturday night. According to the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, the couple was attacked after they heard an alarm go off and went to check it out. Officials say they were able to scare away their attacker and they're now recovering in a Tyler hospital. Our Stefante Randall has more. Judy Williams says she was watching TV when she noticed the alarm. And the back light come on, the buzzer went off, and I went out there just, just expecting to see a little animal of some sort and walked about 20 foot away from the back door and a tall, thin guy come running from the back of the garage and grabbed me, slammed me to the ground face down and uh, started beating me over the head with a rock and, and or some kind of stone on my back. I had my hand over the back of my head and screaming for my husband. And Judy says after hearing her scream, her husband Gene came to her rescue, but she says that's when the attacker changed his focus to Gene. I ran in the house and got the gun and come out and just started shooting and he ran. Both Gene and Judy have substantial injuries. Minor bruises and cuts and stuff and on my hand where I had my hand over my head and I have uh, several staples in the back of my head where he, I never did lose consciousness but a lot of blood. And, my husband lost an eye. and Judy says she is afraid to return to her home. It's scary to go home and lay in the bed or sit there after dark. It's just a scary thing. But Judy says she is reassured by her faith, and she says there's been an outpouring of support from the community. She says the First Baptist Church is helping her and her family. The people have written cards. We've gotten cards. We're just... They've just been wonderful. They've got to bring food out for a few days, and it's they're just so many prayers that went up. Stefante Randall, East Texas News 9. The Cherokee County Sheriff's Office and the Alto Police Department are continuing to investigate. Anyone with information in reference to this case is urged to contact law enforcement. Surprise, they caught this fella down in Cherokee County. Yeah, this is the guy that took a rock and beat the crap out of an old lady's head with it. And then he beat the piss out of her husband, blinding him. That's what he looks like. Why don't we go down to Gulfport, Mississippi? It's almost the identical thing. A couple of fellas walking by, they see an old white dude, 93 years old, working in his garage. I don't even think they had to go through the trouble of sizing him up. So they didn't have any of the old, hey man, I lost my phone, can I use your phone? Can I borrow your phone? Hey, can I have a ride down to my grandmother's funeral? Can I have a dollar eighty-six for my grandfather's funeral? No, they just saw him in there. They went in there and beat the hell out of him and robbed him at gunpoint. Oh, yeah, these geniuses, they were already out on bail for doing the same thing in February. That's criminal justice reform. We cannot criminalize poverty, Colin. Even if it does mean we're going to have to let the fellas take, have, declare an open season on old white people with money and phones and computers and drugs and cash. Why don't we head out to Oxnard, California? This happened 40 years ago. A fella raped and robbed and murdered an 81-year-old white chick. 40 years ago. He was 18 years old. A couple years later, they caught him for four other rapes and they put him in prison for a while. But now they just figured out the rape, the, the DNA from that cold case matched his. So they finally got him for raping this woman. Please, sir, I want some more. And so at what point are we going to start asking ourselves two questions? One, has anybody noticed that black people are targeting old white people for robbery, rape, murder? And two... Why are we so desperate to be in denial, deceit, and delusion about it? 
Is it just because we don't want to make the black kids angry? 